Shit, go. We run up on brick, you may just. Yeah. Are you yeah. loving? Yeah. Ten hoes that we share, dog. I got bitches on me, I'm bobbing. Yeah. Hey, no me for the green like broccoli. Yeah. Hey, no me for the green like shit. Poochie Church is now in. Say it with me. Say it with me, y'all. Welcome back to the channel, Poochie Church. JY Poochie's back like a dad that left to get the milk. I am back with the milk. <laughs> I appreciate and just am um, truly grateful for all the support you that you guys give me for every video I post on the channel. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't the y'all don't pick and choose the people that support every every single video that I put out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all support that. I really appreciate. It. I really really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting kind of sentimental here, but. You guys are the best. You guys are amazing. You could accomplish anything and put your mind to. A lot of you guys, or some of you guys, know that I have my second channel where I react to how to beat horror videos and I react to um, kill count horror videos. And then all of a sudden, YouTube, I don't know, fam, they, they, they be watching what I be watching, fam. That algorithm is not to play with. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Kill Count. What? I was like, oh, this is destiny. I gotta react to it on the channel, okay? This is by the channel Caleb. A man's been putting in uh, work on, you know, as a JoJo tuber for a minute. You know what I'm saying? He an OG JoJo tuber. Love his videos. Always makes banger videos. We're gonna see what Caleb got in this one. If you're new to the channel, be sure to move, 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 the like, subscribe, and that notification bell again. Appreciate all the support, guys. Let's get this video to 500 likes. Without any further ado, let's go. I gave my Discord the option to pick the topic for my next Halloween special, and this okay. is an idea that I loved. It's a there Halloween are special. many questions to answer here. Which Joestar, antagonist, and part have the most bodies? We'll be <laughs> looking at that body right bags. here in this video. Okay. If you frequently watch my content, there's the option to subscribe, Legendary which helps a lot for the channel. Subscribe. But now, on to the video. Link in the Phantom description to the channel, blood. yeah, the video. The first people we have here are manga specific. In chapter 1 of Phantom Blood, a tribe leader sacrifices a woman to fuel the stone mask, and one of the members of the tribe gives himself up as a showcasing of the mask power. Jeez. It states that the tribe had disappeared from existence, but I don't really think that's something to count. So okay, that's two on the board, that. now onto the anime. Episode 1 of Phantom Blood. Mother of Jonathan Joestar, Mary Joestar, dies in a fatal carriage accident and with the carriage driver. After this, there was the death of Dio Brando's mom, who had gone unnamed. Right, Dio says mom. that his father had worked her to death, so I imagine that the death was a product of years of abuse. Following that was Dario Brando, Dario. who had been poisoned over time by Dio. Later into the episode, Dio also goes on to kill Danny, the Joestar family dog. Daddy. Episode 2 begins with a victim of Jack the Ripper. Then, somewhere near the end, Dio kills two people when he's on this drunken tirade. Episode 3 is a bloodbath. In this episode, Dio takes out George Joestar, George. this inspector, and four police officers. Dio has an insane work ethic. <laughs> in episode 4, we get a <laughs> flashback play. to when William Zeppeli had a stone play. mask in his possession. His father had put on the mask, for some reason, and killed exactly 58 ship members, and then was killed by the sun. Now, I feel like I shouldn't count flashback kills, but I guess we you didn't really establish any rules here, did we? Okay. So we can just keep on going. Oh yeah, uh, Jack the Ripper gets a kill in the middle of the episode and gets the carriage driver with their two horses. And Yo, at the end, Jojo Jonathan so Joestar brutal. kills Jack the Ripper. So I guess that case is closed. Episode 5, Zebeli and Jonathan take out five zombies the fairly zombies. easy. We get a flashback to the times of Bruford and Tarkus, and the ones who died here were Mary Stewart, Darnley, Tarkus, Bruford, and the executioner of Tarkus and Bruford, because Bruford always goes out in a bang. Now, Dio has his iconic how many breads have you eaten in your lifeline, <laughs> but that leaves an indefinite amount of people dead, but we can do an analysis of this in the future. Oh, he gonna break it Episode down. Episode 6, Bruford dies a second time. Some people wouldn't count the death of a zombie. I am not some people. Now, <laughs> for another <laughs> manga-specific scene in Chapter 31, Tarkus takes out two guys that were bullying Poco Loco. Not because he was helping him, he was just thirsty. I want to go about excluded scenes like this more in the future, but uh, that's another video also. Episode 7, 
Tarkus kills Zeppeli, Jonathan kills Tarkus, and then Adam sometime after. Unrelated, uh, the undefeatable Thunder Cross Split attack fails for the first time out of the two times that it's used. Dio also <laughs> turns a mom into a vampire, and as for the baby of the mom, uh, well, I'm marking it up on here. Episode 8, there's a Chimera zombie killed so by Dio, Doobie, who is taken out by Jonathan, this one devil looking... Watching it back now, um... The, the uh, part one, Phantom Blood had a lot of, uh, you know, deaths, fam. <laughs> like, a lot of deaths. Doobie, who is taken out by Jonathan, this one devil-looking monster from the manga that was also done in by Jonathan. There's Plant, Jones, Paige, Bornum, who were taken care of by Straitso. Uh, there is also two zombies taken out by Dio's eye laser beams. The eye laser. Uh, I had a lot of pausing to do with this scene in specific with... Just all to of make these sure zombies, how much. and from what I've counted, there are at least 30 here. Then, 30. uh, there are wow. also a, a dire who also died somewhere in there, so that's a ratio of at least 39 zombies to one dire. Episode 9 The R. End R. of Thunder Phantom Cross Blood. Attack. We got a drunk priest named Father Styx, uh, Lisa Lisa's mom, and Wing Chan. But before the final death, we got a lot going on here. There are most likely more people than the ones that we've seen, considering that this is a pretty big ship. But since I'm just counting Jeez, the ones that I've seen die man. and going only off of statements like William Zeppelin's in the earlier one, there are only about 25-ish people. And then finally, we have the death of Jonathan Joestar. Joestar. So that's 28 people in total from ones that we have seen. We'll be finishing this all up with a huge, large count up at the end. But for now... Battle tendency. Battle tendency. I'll be numbering the episodes after the grouping that the anime does for Phantom Blood and Battle Tendency. So when I say episode 10, that's still episode one of Battle Tendency. Okay. Now on to episode 10. The first kills here are flashback kills with Joseph's profession in Crashing Planes, which took <laughs> out two hijackers. Next, Straight So continues with his competitive career by starting with another quadra kill with two excavators and two of his disciples. Episode 11, Joseph takes out Strazo and begins his painful journey that we call Battle Tendency. Later into the episode, we see the terrible Stroheim command his people to kill all of his prisoners. I counted 29 in the manga, so that adds wow. up to 30 in this episode. Episode 12, now Santana like runs up the kills. Santana. This is the true Pillarman's power. People be forgetting Santana, fam. He takes out one vampire prisoner, but after taking over a soldier's body, he buzzes down nine of Stroheim's people using his finger gun. We also got to count the body that he took over, so that's 10 Rip. bodies in total for Santana. Now we're going on into episode 14, as no one actually I think died in 13. Here we have the awakening of the Pillar Men. Wamu ran it up harder than Santana. With his special Pillar Men powers, he drinks one officer and 11 soldiers in one go. Shortly after, he takes out that's half of Mark. In total, that's 13 bodies. Jeez. Next, episode 17, The Loss of Loggins. Lots of building going on in these episodes. Not many bodies. After this, we have episode 18, The Complete End to Everything ECDC. Then sometime after, Kara saves a dog, but takes out two drunk drivers in the process. Starting to think he's not the best superhero out there. A bit later, <laughs> Cars turns on his Pillarman heat-seeking abilities, counting five bodies, and takes out all five. Now, the problem here is that if you look at the manga and actually try to count the bodies at hand, there's six. So, like, wow, like, Cars is bad at what, saving people and math. This, this is your ultimate life form? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Seems pretty odd to me. <laughs> now in episode 20, Caesar loses his battle against Wamu. We also get a flashback of his dad sacrificing himself, so that's two Zeppelin shown in one episode. Damn. Episode 21, the, the swift Zeppelis defeat fam. of Wired Beck. Episode 23, before fading away, Wamu takes out five soldiers of Kars' undead army, and then he dies a bit after. While lamenting over the death of Wamu, we get a flashback to a kill of a member of the Hamon tribe. We know that they are wiped out altogether, but I don't have anything to go off here for the amount of them. After okay. the flashback, Cars takes out three more soldiers. Then Dang. there's the death of Cars. 
or well his double though credit to lisa lisa that's two more people than caesar in total now he had zero but it's the sentiment i guess <laughs> after stroheim gets back into battle with his people they kill a total they of 42 zombie soldiers they all them zombies. it was terrible trying to find all of this together but Dang. that's 52 bodies in this one episode 52. episode 24 in a flashback we have the loss of george joestar the second but who's there to avenge her husband lisa lisa, lisa lisa so that's three three more than caesar now on to episode 25 i'm not too fond of the counting here in order we have a squirrel a soldier killed by the squirrel and then all of these zombies that's a oh lot oh my god how did you count the those? first point to make uh this squirrel also has more bodies than caesar did i have to mention <laughs> that no but did i enjoy it yes as for the zombies <laughs> with the power of stitching and zooming it adds up to a total of what i believe to be 88 zombies Whoa, that is that's... ridiculous though it makes sense since yeah it is an army episode 26 that's a lot now, you, you may expect food. me to put cars here as yeah. a death because oh man yeah it's basically dead right i will not instead we're just counting the people that die in the episode that being stroheim arena and speedwagon we also have a flashback near the beginning of the episode where both cars and acdc take out the entire pillarman tribe i'm counting all the people i see in this scene as to where there is surrounding cars but that is it there were more than 50 but we're marking up only what we can see you only okay. given that we have no numbers like the zeppeli case in part one and oh. that is it for battle tendency only use which you can now see, uh, let's get that. into stardust crusaders. crusaders episode one the kill at the very end dio had killed a woman and left her on his steps the suck episode four gray fly racks up some of the most kills i've seen from a minor antagonist it was pretty ridiculous in one go he takes out four seated passengers then Jeez. also goes out <laughs> to take out both the plane's pilots Every time I rewatch like JoJo sees, I gotta remember just how brutally this, bro. <laughs> like it's some brutal stuff. <laughs> oh, he takes out four seated passengers. Look at that. Then also oh. goes out to take out both Rip. the plane's pilots and a flight attendant. After that, he dies from the sheer dismemberment that he received from Kakyoin. But damn, that's a lot of Massacre. bodies. Episode five, we get a flashback to the death of Polner of Sister Sherry. Episode 6, we found out the person who we thought was Captain Tenno was actually an imposter. Jotaro takes the mean of pressing button and voting him off single-handedly. Yeah? Yeah, look. Look at my third channel. I know about games. I'm hip. I'm with it. <laughs> Episode 7, Forever is reference. going absolutely mad and kills six Speedwagon Foundation sailors. That is terrible. Jotaro later finds out that Forever is the second imp and takes him out too. Episode 8, Bye. a hotel valet gets his face turned into pastrami by Ebony Devil. Shortly after, the stand user of Ebony Devil, Devo the Cursed, is turned into shredded cheese to finish up this fatality sandwich that this episode made. You like that? That was pretty good? Yeah, I know. Fatality sandwich. Uh, episode <laughs> 9, Rubber Soul puts down a dog named Pocky with the help of its owner. Uh, some people go to the vet for this type of thing, but I guess to each their own. Episode 10. I can that one. Jay Guile and Whole Horse kill a snake. Yeah, early Stardust Crusaders isn't really working with a lot. Episode 11. Whole Nerf turns Jay Guile into a pincushion because what Jay Guile didn't know is that Whole Nerf grew up with that snake, lived with that snake, and is a huge, massive fan of Metal Gear. I understand <laughs> why Whole Nerf would be so upset. Snake. Episode 12, uh, Empress doesn't like helpful people, so she destroys a doctor's face with a scalpel. The anime doesn't do this scene justice. It is way more gruesome in the manga because it's like, oh, how are you going to die from just getting stabbed in the face? But it's it's completely different. Uh, next, Joseph didn't like that Polnareff was going out on dates. So to get his friend back, he had taken out Nina, the stand user of Empress. If you're wondering what's going on, uh, my sanity here is dwindling from counting. Episode 25, Nduel gets a triple by taking out two Speedwagon pilots, and then in the next episode, he takes out himself? The results may shock you. Continuing episode 26, <laughs> Boingo tells a mangaka his fortune, and that gets him killed. Now, considering what had happened, 
I think that Boingo should change professions. Death is a pretty bad side effect for fortune telling. Episode 28. Chaka Khan goes through the fire with Anubis' power to take out his father and two of his friends. Uh, some people use communication. Anubis. Love playing with Anubis in YBA. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize how much kills were in JoJo, fam. Like, thinking about it, I didn't realize there's so many people that got Anubis' body. power to take out his father and two of his friends. Uh, some people use communication. I'd, okay. Episode 38. Head Shop shows that it's not too fond of dogs by killing two of them. Shortly after, Pet Shop also shows that it's not too fond of real estate owners by taking out one. Now, some people communicate your thoughts, but again, Destroyed. Pet Shop, like this part, is not some people. They are a bird. Now, in episode 39, Iggy Indeed. avenges his fellow My real estate Nikki. owners by killing Pet Shop. Nobody here talks in this series. Uh, they should try to get the their point of across differently, I believe. Episode 42, Vanilla Ice takes the Endul route, but then Dio revives him using his vampire blood. It's good to know that the medical insurance you get under Dio does you well. After returning to life, <laughs> you hear that? Vanilla We got medical insurance. Join Dio Saba side. <laughs> know that the medical insurance you get under Dio does you well. After returning to life, Vanilla Ice confirms that it is indeed demon time and takes out Avdol. Episode 44, we lose Iggy and then Vanilla Ice is killed by Polnareff shortly after. I guess that his insurance doesn't cover weather. Episode 45, Dio helps Senator Wilson Phillips with his presidential campaign by making him drive into a sidewalk, a sidewalk filled with people. From what I'm counting in the manga, that's about 24-ish mm, people. But since Dio wants to run for president next, he throws Phillips <laughs> to the side. Oh well, more so hey, to the yo. front. Out of a window. Hey yo, who voted for President Dio Sama? <laughs> Let me know in the comments right now. We vote for President Dio. Those Phillips to the side. Or well, more so to the front. Out of a window. <laughs> I say that his campaign is doing pretty well. You can't just vote for someone who just drives on the sidewalks like that. Like, come on. <laughs> Episode 46. Dio kills Kakyoin. Kakyoin. There's a... Uh, there, there, there's Rest no pun peace. here. This, this messed me up. Episode 47. After buying a couple Takes of knives, Dio tips recover. the clerk. But the only currency that he has is death. Episode 48. Joseph dies? Do we count this? <laughs> I guess we count this. We're counting this. But after this, Jotaro gets Dio a refund from the clerk R. earlier R. and gives him his death currency back. R. Joseph R. Uh, also Sama. comes back. Oh my god, finally. We finished Stardust Crusaders two more parts, because we're doing anime only. Diamond is unbreakable. Episode one, we don't know who's dead, but someone is dead and Kira did it. Kira took him Episode out. two, Angelo gets a triple kill with two old men Yo, and Angelo. a dog. Now, since Josuke really liked one of the old men, he turned Angelo into a rock, no, but they he is still phenomenal. alive. It's just a life that you live. As a rock. Ask Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Come on, you know how that works. <laughs> Episode 16. Josuke begins his career in pest control by killing two rats. Now, spoiler alert. Uh, those two rats go on to be the only thing that he kills in this franchise, technically. Now, before we get into the next episode, I'm introducing a new series in this. It is called The Kira Kill Streak. Let's rack it up. Episode 22. Shigechi and the Senebi Shoes Owner. That's two. Episode 24, Kosaku Kawajiri and Ayasu Suji. That's another two. And, in, uh, and then the kill streak is broken because in episode 30, Shinobu inadvertently kills Tamama, the cat that becomes Stray Cat, the stand. But if we didn't count that, then Kira would have gone undisputed for six kills because we now have episode 34. Yoshikage Kira finds himself tired of all these new music these couples listen to these days and takes out Satoru and Minako. There was also Masazo Kanoto who was killed by a stand cheap trick, but who also died. But but that's not as important as Kira's KD ratio here, okay? <laughs> Episode you got a crazy 38. KD. Kira frame traps a pervert and the dude gets blown up. That's not a pun. Rip. That's real facts. Leave now, them pants this alone. wasn't enough. 
Kiro wanted to get his kills up, so his father helps him out by adding himself to the count. See, that's what every strong team needs. Someone <laughs> to die for the cause. And finally, episode 39, Kira admits to killing 48 women in total? That's a terrifying amount. What the hell? So Since <laughs> I think that he means all- Maz really loved them hands. <laughs> a terrifying amount. Him, what the hell? Since I think that he means all of this happened before his Kosaku form, I'm just gonna add 48 on top of everything. What you had And before. if we're off, then hey, we're off. Oh well. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, Kira also gets rolled by an ambulance. Uh, it, 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 it happens. It's, there's a, it's, ambulances are pretty deadly. Oh, I can feel myself <laughs> Almost evolving. as deadly as Chuck Coon. Part 5 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind. Vento Episode 2, Jorno secures his spot as the first Joe star to get the first kill. Joseph can technically be in the same area, but that was a flashback, and Jorno did his with Leaky Eye Luca because okay. he attacked his frog friend, and honestly, I wouldn't have it any other any way. Other way. See, what Luca didn't understand is that we love our amphibians out here. Isn't that right, Mudkip? <laughs> yeah, you see, they get it. They get it. <laughs> Episode 3, Black Sabbath I I kills a, a janitor. Frog. Not really sure how you report that to the police. Episode 4, we got the infamous yeah. banana Pol -pol. gun, and Pol Pol banana ends gun. up being our third kill in the part. Episode Pol -pol 6, we get die. a flashback to Abakio's days as a fed and his partner gets capped. Uh, GG. Episode nine, we know that Trish's mom is dead? Does that count? I guess we're counting that. Episode 10, well. in a flashback, Chocolata is turning Sorbet into a Damien Hurst art piece. Gelato hates modern art and died from that alone. Episode 11, Formaggio lives up to his name by dying a bubbly and melty mess filled with holes. He thanks Narancha for helping him fulfill his dream of being a human cheese block. <laughs> Episode 13, Aluzo stops talking to the man in the mirror. Reason, he's dead. This event goes down as Fugo's single battle. Well, there's also his other battle of him versus his anger management. Episode 16, after learning that Prosciutto is alive, Pesci catches his that first man, body because like Virgil, he is so motivated. Then, when trying to find Bruno, he gets a random passenger. It's, he's trying. In the end, Bruno wins the 1v1 with him because Pesci didn't know that Bruno's dad was a fisherman. So, of course, he's going to know how to use a fishing line. Uh, duh. <laughs> Prosciutto dies shortly after, after some injuries caused by playing with the train tracks. Your mom taught you better, man. Come on, you don't do that. Episode 18. Melone wanted to get a feature from Coyote Peterson, so they went and tried to find out what it's like to get bit by a gold experienced snake. Spoiler alert, uh, you die. Episode 19, Giorno shows Giachao that he played Chun-Li in Third Strike. Giachao, <laughs> unfortunately, doesn't parry a single hit as he uh, is in Dizzy. You should have been blocking. Episode 20. After playing lots of Metal Gear, Bruno sneaks around and gets two kills on some dealers trying to finish the job. But uh, his dad dies later on. Episode 21, Bruno loses his Nuzlocke on life, but Jorna <laughs> helps him cheat. Episode 23, Narancha didn't like the fact that Tizano and Squalo served him a soup that eats him back. Uh, well, well, can you blame them? For trying new things, Narancha, like, come on, it's, it's hard to run a business. <laughs> and instead of leaving a Google review, uh, since they weren't invented yet, Narancha kills him. The 90s R. were a tough time. Episode 24, Carne tries to walk down on Bruno's group, big but now it's just them. Episode 26, Diablo knew about what happened to the mangaka and Star Wars Crusaders, so he takes out the fortune teller because he will not let these psychics get ahead of him. Episode 27, Smart. Risotto kills a frog. But what he doesn't know is that he sealed his fate in that kill. The frog clan will always avenge their loved ones. 
Episode 28, Diablo friend. shows his disdain for heavy metal by ordering a hitman to punch holes through this very large sheet of metal that we call Risotto Nero. Uh, in the middle of the episode, he goes on to eat a frog. Now we know what's going to happen with this guy later. And later, near the end, uh, Abakio gets Abakio. caught trying to read logs and gets taken out by Diavolo. One imposter remains. Episode 29, we see two guys fall apart due to Chocolata's Green Day. But we can see that there's actually seven people all together from this aerial shot. Oh, man. Episode 30, Chocolata didn't have much reception, so he followed Giorno and friends to get a better connection. Now, the effects of Green Day here are extremely potent. From what we've seen on the screen, there were at least 16 people that are just falling apart. Wow. There are most likely many That's people who died inside of buildings and all, but since I can't see you it, can't see I'm it. not going to be count. counting some potential kills. Understandable. Episode 31. Journal revokes Chocolata's medical license because of his massive amounts of malpractice. Seven page but Muda. before Chocolata could change professions, Giorno diagnoses him with a fatal condition called death. Episode 32, Seko didn't know that Bruno was good at magic. That gets him killed. Episode 33, Diavolo finishes the job on Polnareff. Polnareff. That's, uh, that's just something else. Episode 35, Diavolo kills Narancha. This upsets me. Saddest, one of the saddest deaths, uh, deaths in JoJo for me, fam. I remember watching it with y'all and I reacted to it at that moment. I was so sad in that moment, fam. Who kills Naranja. This upsets me. There are no puns. Episode 36, Mista, a known member of the Frog Clan, takes out Doppio. Don't you ever underestimate the game. Ever again, Doppio. Episode 37, cats supposedly have nine lives. Uh, Bruno only has two and loses both. And finally, uh, episode too, 38, Diavolo dies Infinite death. infinitely. That, that's, that's pretty ridiculous. I don't, I don't really know what I'm supposed to, that's, that's, that's gonna, that's gonna be Total. out of the chart. Now, before I forget to mention, there was an extra 41 zombies that Stroheim's men had taken out when they got to the fight. Now okay. that that's out of the way, we can get straight get to into the numbers. The numbers. Dang. So, it's which be a lot. part had the highest kills in these animated JoJo parts? Well, at the bottom, we have Diamond is Unbreakable with 67. Next, Star's Crusaders <laughs> 69. at 69. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Phantom Blood has 162. Oh then my gosh. there's a battle tendency with 268. That, oh, battle so tendency. How got exactly so do you much. one up that number? It's a fairly large number. Well, there's Golden Wind oh, five. with Infinite. Infinity. So, um, I, that's that's pretty nice, right? Like that's that's <laughs> drastically different between the two, but. If we're not counting the infinite death loop, then Golden Wind ends off on the lowest of all the parts at 56 58. flat, with Battle Tendency being the highest. As for the highest kills, I'd like to share a bunch of these numbers. We're going to look at kills 5 and above. Okay. First, we have Giorno, Giorno with just 5, unless we're counting the infinite death loop. Next, there's Diavolo with 8. He's also the one character with the most main character kills here, with three of them, if we count Bruno twice. If not, then he's the same as Vanilla Ice in that regard. After Diavolo is part one Dio with 16 kills, and I'd okay. say that that's a relatively large gap between the- I thought he'd add all of Dio's numbers together. Dio with 16 kills, and I'd say that that's a relatively large gap between the two, it's double. And then there's Chocolata, Chocolata one upping him with 17, 17 kills. After that, there is another gap with Jonathan Joestar at 33. All them Next zombies. <laughs> is ACDC with hey, AC 51 because I'm counting the efforts of Cars and him together against the Pillarmen. Now we're in the top five territory of the highest kills here. Number five, uh, William Zeppeli's father with. 58 
that's uh that's uh, that's extremely shocking don't you think <laughs> extremely shocking number four Kira. yoshikage kira with kira 60 four. you should have already uh, expected him to be up here next cars. number three cars got a cars lot. who stands above Six the many nintendo with 64. 64. And then next, there's two with the amount of people that Stroheim and his man killed. Da, 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 da. Who cared? Now, our number one character with the most snapped KD ratio of all time. <laughs> the Sun. Not not the stand. He, not the stand user <laughs> the either. Sun, they, the they, they wish. It's just, that's, that's not, they couldn't even they couldn't even touch that. The actual <laughs> physical sun. For with taking out all them kills. zombies. <laughs> Granted, there are a bunch of zombie kills, but still kills nonetheless. Yep, okay. So <laughs> the highest antagonist kills are from cars. cars. The part with the highest kills is either battle tendency or golden win with how you want to go about it. And Jonathan Joestar is our shining knight here having the most kills of any Joestar, unless you want to count Jorno because go infinite it. deaths, infinite, you know, yeah, that, that's yeah. that's a real thing, people. Yeah, I, I Thank understand. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> this is not going to be a long outro. You know what? It's not. I hope you all enjoy your Dagger Halloween video. inside. It's a great time. I love October, and man, I wish it was longer. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, peace out, and Godspeed. absolutely banger of a video fam like I, I i loved it so much man like time and effort to count all of them bodies <laughs> that's a lot of bodies he had to count for those five five parts and then we got stone ocean he probably should make a kill count for stone ocean whenever you know that that's fully animated but man it's a great video and uh <laughs> Giorno, having a ton of nets or the sun and <laughs> the sun the sun took it <laughs> i love videos like this fam i really do let me know what y'all thought of it down in the comment section shout out to caleb link to the original videos down in the description let me know what you thought of my reaction and if you enjoyed it be sure to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell again i appreciate all of you guys that support these videos as well it really means a lot let's get this video to 500 likes put your churches now journey i got two words for your weebs unite